We're here in Geneva at the ITU studio, and I'm joined by Ms. Kelly O'Keefe, rapporteur for question 5-2 in the ITUD study groups. What is the role of a rapporteur for question 5-2 in the ITUD study groups? Ms. Um, I see my role is really to help facilitate the work of our question. So we want to make sure that we get the right experts in, we get contributions from the member states, and that we fulfill the directives that were coming to us from the WTDC. And then importantly, I think the ITU study groups are really a great place for discussion among participants. We exchange experiences and lessons learned, so I like to help uh, facilitate that dialogue during our meetings. How have the discussions on the use of ICTs for emergency telecommunications evolved in these past few years? They've really changed a lot. I think um, the first time this question started was in 2006 after the WTDC. So if you think about that, um, the Asian earthquake and tsunami happened in 2004. Mm -hmm. And over the course of that time, you really have seen a change in, in the disaster communications community, but also within our study question, within our work, of countries who had previously not had disaster communications plans that now have plans. And now they're submitting inputs to our meetings um, discussing the implementation of those plans. You're seeing a lot more of technologies and ICT solutions that are specifically targeted at some of the challenges for disaster response. Um, we've also seen, especially with the emergence of the Sustainable Development Goals, much more discussion of resiliency um, for part of our works. How do you take um, telecommunication networks that are so important to disaster response and make them resilient to disasters? So you can have um, limited loss of property and loss of life um, as a result of a disaster. Mm -hmm. um, I think those are some of the, the changes that we've seen. And of course, I think across all of it, um, it's important that um, technology is really just a tool for disaster response. So we're seeing how organizations and governments are using technology in different ways. We're learning from one another, but those challenges still remain. So as disasters continue, and they'll always continue, I think we still have a lot to learn and a lot of way to go. And what is the importance of this workshop and how can the discussions that took place contribute to the final report of this question? I'm really excited about the workshop. I think it's a good way, um, at least especially within the ITUD study groups, for us to have more innovative approaches to get information from uh, different stakeholders in the community to the developing countries. So the p workshop, we I think one of the lessons that we want to draw from that is, um, is multi-stakeholder collaboration. How are we as a community within government, within ITU, uh, within different private sector members, uh, how are these um, very different stakeholders working together? What have they learned that is different? What changes have we seen over the past uh, several years? And how, we, how can we continue to work together um, as we move forward to help um, bring developing countries and the developed world um, into a better place where emergency communications? Thank so. you very much, Ms. Kelly O'Keefe. Thank you.